Okay, what we're gonna have a look at at the moment is chicken hearts. Now these I got from Coles, you know, Woolworths, whatever, um, from local supermarket. Um, and you can pick up a pack of them, um, 40 in a pack for, um, I think it was about $10. Um, my, they're very small, right? You can see my hand here. So very small, this is probably about four, mil, four centimeters long. Um, but they're basically the same structure as our sheep heart, which we're doing the dissection. The cow heart, which you can see in the other videos, um, human hearts and so on, they're all pretty much the same. The main thing is they have the, uh, the right atrium, the right uh, ventricle, blood pumping up to the, into the body, uh, into the lungs, and the, sorry, start with this one, um, and then left atrium and left ventricle. Now, what I've done here is I've just put these uh, sticks in, just so you can see, um, where things are going. Now, in this case, we have at the back, oh, it says, uh, um, remember that it's facing us, so although this is the, our left, it's the, it's the chicken's right, I guess. So you have the blood coming in the back, the front, <laughs> sorry, blood's filling up in the top, uh, and filling up this, this uh, right atrium. It's then going down, and then coming up out the back of the right ventricle. It's going up to the lungs, it's coming back from the lungs and it's filling up in here. This bit here is the right atrium going down, in, sorry, left atrium going down into the left ventricle and being pumped up here through the aortic valve, uh, through the aorta. Um, now, just do the same thing here. What I've done is I've done a single cut through, through, the, through this side, through the right, right side of the heart and a single cut through the left side of the heart so you can see inside. So here, which we can actually see, very, very thin on this side. Basically, this is the blood coming back from the body. It's filling up, right? And if we just move this out of the way, you can see how this, this fill up. Now, this may on yours just be completely joined um, because just in transit, things can get a little bit messed up. Um, but these are joined. On this side, if you have a look, look how thick the heart is. Right? It's much, much thicker because this is what has to pump the blood around the body. So in this case, this is your right atrium, which is filling up, going, sorry, left atrium, blood coming back from the heart, filling up down here into the left ventricle and then pumping up through the aorta. If we look inside the heart, I think it's this one, no, this one. Right, so, and once again, it's difficult, it's difficult to see, but what we look for is, well, we can look through the thickness of the heart. All right, so this side here, this was my my left, uh, sorry, my right side of the heart, and around in there, and in here is the left, and sorry, the right atrium and the right ventricle. All right, very, very thin. Basically, the rest of the heart is the bits pumping it from the rest of the body. And you can see in here the um, valves, oops, um, you can see these valves in here, how they work, because they will open and close. Um, so then they can shut off and, and so they can pump the blood up and out. And the last one, uh, I think if I'm looking down here, you can see, see those valves there. So basically when it pumps, it opens and then that will shut. Now there's some little um, tubes uh, which are holding onto it. So they're actually, so basically that's just sealing off. So that way it can then pump up through here. You don't want it to go back through the body, um, so that has to close quite close and it's to be able to pump forward. All right, so what you will be doing when you're cutting this up, you will see there'll be a kind of soft side of the heart and a hard side of the heart. You will see the uh, probably a couple of these, you'll see the uh, this one. I'm going to take these out. All right, so if you as you open up the top of the heart, you'll see there'll be some little holes. Now you probably see this tube that's really easy to spot, which is the aorta. I find it actually quite difficult, I find it's quite difficult to get this in here, right? Because it has to get past all the other stuff, right? right because, and it's gonna go right in. Now on this side, you've got your, um, yeah, blood coming back from the heart, which, and this is going in a fair way. All right, now here, You'll see, sorry, this will go in and down like that. Okay, and now it will actually go a fair way in. The other side on this heart, you can see it's kind of, 
because you've got the aorta there, is kind of getting caught up behind here. So the two halves are coming in and around there. These don't go in very far and it's very shallow, very thin. Now you can actually see it. I don't see it moving in through there. The other one is coming in, oops, not through there, through this side. So they'll, if this will open up and there'll be a little hole in here. Okay. So you can see that now on the heart, normally you have a big, well, it's on a lamb's heart, it's a lot easier because on a lamb's heart, um, it quite often will have fatty tissue going around it. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut basically between the fatty tissue on one side and between the fatty tissue on the other side. All right, so one cut will be like that. The other cut will be across this way. All right, so see how you go.